I saw on one of your colleagues, I, I can't remember whom, talked about the fact that because we don't have a conductor doesn't mean we're leaderless. We actually have more leadership. That's right. Yeah. It really, Orpheus is like, playing in Orpheus is a, is a, is a it's a training in leadership. It's a training in being able to instruct in a way that adds knowledge to the rest of the group. It's a training in, in uh, being, uh, having great reflexes. But it, it absolutely is a, the perfect leadership training. W the way we work is itself inspiring, not just, not just the music that we yeah. play. And the interesting thing about way, the way Orpheus works is that we have a different core group for each work that we play. So there's, there's rot rotation of leadership. Um, so I'll, I might be principal cello on a, on a Beethoven symphony and then we're doing a Mozart concerto and I'm going to sit in the back of the cello section, uh, let someone else lead. So we, we very often have members of the group go out to the audience, uh, to the aud empty auditorium, to hear how the interpretation is sounding from that perspective. Um, and that's a very important part of our process, someone stepping back and, lo and looking at it to try to get the big picture. Um, but it's the idea that there's, there is a leadership group, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to change. And there's not one leader of that group who's, who's more central. I, I remember my first concerts with the group. I remember the this sort of stress of the rehearsal process where we're, you know, fighting is too strong a word, but we're mm -hmm. absolutely disagreeing about how the music should sound, about whether we're achieving it. And then getting on stage, I remember the very first concert I played and the energy of the performance is unique. In a conducted organization, a conducted orchestra, you, you're trying to portray the conductor's interpretation. Part of you has to be passive. The mm -hmm. part of you that's is thinking about how should the music go, you have to, you have to put that away. Yeah. And in Orpheus, like that part of you, you, you have to heat up, you have to cook it, you have to take care of that. And in concert, it's, it's like we've decided that the music is going to go this way and everybody in that orchestra, 34, 37 people, sometimes as small as 23, but everybody on that stage is working with all of their passion to make that interpretation come alive.